Hi, everybody. Welcome to Basic Macroeconomics. So this is the first uh, set of modules for the class. Uh, in our Google Classroom, you are provided with the learning packets as well as the uh, PDF copy of this uh, simple book. And uh, this is an introduction video to this uh, module. So this module contains the uh, first part or chapter one of our lectures, which covers three units of topics uh, focusing on uh, basic macroeconomic principles and definitions, uh, terminologies that are normally um, taken up in macroeconomics, kasama yung differences between micro and macro, at mga words na normally ay nababanggit natin sa macro. So I decided na unahin yon para uh, maging mas familiar kayo at uh, along the way ay uh, hindi kayo nabibigla dun sa mga bagong mga concepts na ating pag-aaralan. So this particular topic, uh, uh, chapter I mean, would cover introduction to macroeconomics, facts and measures, as well as basic micro, uh, macroeconomic concepts focusing on the production possibilities frontier and the circular flow diagram. Now, these uh, three areas are uh, sort of a review na din, since I have mentioned them along the way when we were taking microeconomics. So if you notice in this booklet, you have the description of the subject plus uh, the materials, the learning materials that you need and activities in the end. So here in the first part of this booklet, you have the introduction to macro. And I presented here the differences between micro and macro. Uh, there is a video accompanying this, and uh, it is already uh, available in my YouTube channel. And then uh, we also look at the uh, coverage of macroeconomics. It is in here. And then uh, the economic policies, which are directly involved in uh, micro, micro and macroeconomic decision making. Uh, macroeconomics has a huge uh, function to decision makers like politicians and economic advisors because they are the ones who are directly involved in uh, running the country and uh, an understanding of macroeconomic concepts is tremendously helpful to uh, understand the intricacies of the interrelationship between macroeconomic variables. So at the end of this particular uh, unit, um, maintindihan natin kung ano ang uh, pinagkaiba ng ating mga discussion sa micro at bakit ang microeconomics ay important to macroeconomics. So here we also look at uh, the value of having macroeconomic uh, understanding. Uh, this is a summary of what you can do with your uh, macroeconomic subject and uh, knowledge. And then here would be a summary of this content. And then after that summary, we would have some activities to check whether you have understood the major concepts and terminologies that I presented in that uh, in that area. Next topic would be uh, a presentation of some terms that are common in the discussion of macroeconomics. So here you would have um, a sort of like a uh, diagram or a mind map uh, following the different uh, major areas that we will discuss in this subject. And then, of course, hindi natin mamimis ang aggregate demand and aggregate supply, but there is a totally whole chapter on that. So that is section three of this of this course. So after that, uh, here you can see all the terms that you should know. These terms are supposedly dapat hindi bago sa inyo kasi we have come across them in other subjects in management as well as in micro last semester. And uh, again, after every lecture notes or discussion, uh, which is accompanied by readings and uh, other videos from the internet, you would have activities that you need to submit. So you can uh, do that immediately. And then once you have finished that, we move on to the topic of the production possibilities frontier. Now, again, this is not new since we discussed this in micro, but there are a lot of new ideas here that were presented. And uh, I hope you understand the content once you have passed through the material. And then lastly, we would look at the circular flow diagram. But what we discussed in our last subject before was a two-sector economy uh, model.